have to manufacture differently and do things differently than we've done in the past. And that's what the Institute for Product Realization is all about. It's bringing together the core facilities at the University of Louisville to allow us and to allow our state and nation to be competitive in a world economy. The ecosystem to me is where you get a critical mass of people with a whole lot of different backgrounds, uh, whether that's in 3D printing or advanced manufacturing, that you can take advantage of. So rather than having the power of one, you have the power of many. Most of the time companies have to go all over the world in order to find all these resources. But here at UofL we have all those resources in one park, the IPR. The, the advantage of the IPR, for a company especially, is within the University of Louisville. We have so much expertise in advanced manufacturing, whether that's in alternative energy, whether that's new material development, whether that's 3D printing, whether that's logistics. It enables them to come in and take advantage of all those resources, as well as the city of Louisville and the UPS World Port for being able to get parts shipped very rapidly. This is a living laboratory. So we're gonna have companies, students, researchers, faculty and staff members all working together under the same roof. The whole idea is to connect the work that we do in academia to society. Getting from the lab bench to the real world, that is what the IPR will do. And we'll be one of the first people to move in there because we look at the IPR as the advanced manufacturing ecosystem which gives rise to great ideas and gets products to market. With the opening of the IPR, small companies will have access to talent, engineering services, and facilities that are normally available only to multinational companies. It will serve the small manufacturers with the same benefit as it does the large manufacturer, and a lot of your small to mid companies would not have access to either the technical workforce that we will assemble, nor would they have the access to that level of precision in, in equipment. You and I as consumers, we always want the latest product, the latest iPad, the latest this. We like to consume, so we as consumers want products. It's just where they're going to be produced, and they ought to be produced here in Kentucky. Micro factory is an embodiment of a large factory, but it is designed so that we can put together silver products very rapidly and take it to the market. I think what we've seen from First Build is how quickly they've been able to take new ideas and turn them into a product for evaluation or for people to test. We want to open up our design, build and sell process where we invite people in. We are open to ideas from anyone and we are not constrained by the volumes. If we make two and we can sell them, we make two and sell them. And in the process we get a very valid, very fast consumer feedback in the form of a check. So if they are willing to write a check and they're willing to buy your product, that means it will sell. Uh, companies can go through the design, the manufacturing, the prototyping, and the testing stage very, very, very quickly, and months instead of years. Um, I think it's really going to help bridge that, they call it, you know, the valley of death. You have technology that starts the university and then it never makes it to the commercial market space. Let's put together the technology, the manufacturing facilities, so that you can bridge that gap sooner, quicker, and actually efficiently make it into the commercial market space. Good ideas on how to make new products or better products can come from anywhere. So in co-creation what we do is we pair up the best ideas from anywhere with the domain expertise to get products to the market very rapidly. Having the world help you create your product, really they are contributing to your testing, your market analysis, your fine-tuning of your product ideas. It will bring a lot of interesting people to Louisville, both physically and through our digital connectivity. And these folks will change the innovative nature of the work that is being done here. And through the collective brain power, will innovate and create solutions the best ideas come when people from different walks and different businesses collaborate with each other. That's when the best ideas come to life. The whole idea of using the crowd to generate ideas and flesh them out and proof them is fantastic. We will compete worldwide and we're already excited about our partnership with UL because we're their worldwide training center for additive manufacturing. If you want to be globally competitive and you want to make new products and you want to use advanced manufacturing techniques, Come to Louisville. Whether you're a small company, a medium company, or a large company, come to Louisville. We're going to have everything under one roof 
to help get your product to market faster. The University of Louisville's Institute for Product Realization is bringing global community together to turn ideas into reality.